All right, Christina Vines, you asked for the, I've already done one, but I'm going to do another one because I've had it for a couple of weeks now. And I got to tell y'all, uh, as far as tanks go, the Delta II, I haven't got the Arctic. Everybody says the Arctic, 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 Arctic. I haven't tried it yet. It strictly coils. doesn't have an RBA deck as far as I know, so I haven't bothered with it. I went ahead and tried something new. Uh, but I'm going to show y'all the coil on this. It's just monster. Man, this thing makes an Atlantis coil look like a Nautilus. I mean, it's freaking ginormous. And if you look here, you'll see. You see that little thing right there? That's a juice channel. You turn it up here at the top. If I can get the damn thing to work right. See? You can open and close it. Adjust how much juice comes into your coil. It's kind of gimmicky to me because flat out I run it straight wide open. I'm running 70-30 and it wicks like a champion. Now right now I'm running the RBA deck. This thing unscrews from the base. It fills into the tank just like an just like an Atlanta show. But stainless steel with these little tiny ass funkadelic slits. I don't know what, what the hell somebody thought about with that idiocy, but hey, whatever. You got a Pyrex glass tube under that. Then of course you got your chimney. It fills right in there. It's not hard to fill. It's if you've got a little light above you, you can see the fill it. It's no problem. It's telling how much you got in there. That gets a bit tricky. But once she starts to dry hit, go fill the damn thing up. It ain't that hard, but still, I would actually prefer to have a glass like the Atlantis and most other tanks. Even that raggly ass Lemo, which is I call the Lamo. Now, this is the RBA deck. I got a, uh, I forget what, hell, I don't even remember what ohm load I'm running on this damn thing. So I'm going to screw it into the handy dandy ohm reader and get me a damn paper towel because I'm getting juice every thinking where. And we're going to cut her on. Looks like 0.22 on the screen at me backwards, but it's actually 0.55, which ain't bad. That's about where I like to be. Um, gives me a nice vape the way I want it. You screw it right on in here. Boom, you're done. You also got this massive air hole. Now, instead of, as you can see, you, you have total control over how much air gets in by just turning it. There's no this hole or that hole. You actually have the whole damn thing or as little as you want out of it. It's up to you. I like that. That's that's a really, really grand idea. But while I'm at it, I'm also going to show you my other newest toy, which, oh yeah, <laughs> the Tesla Rosewood 120. Uh, Mr. Hinkle, you the bomb dog. This damn thing's killer. Look at that. Smooth. Everything's nice and neat. Pretty. $95 shipped. Uh, for, for a wood mod... For less than $100, this damn thing is freaking nice. Look at that. I'm running 45 watts on a Goblin, folks. This Goblin, this is my new tank. Same thing. you got your total control over your air. Through your, you got two big-ass holes here. They're pretty comparable, actually, to the uh, Delta II because of the fact that these are a lot taller. So, And you got two air channels going into a chimney. So air, air as far as air goes, they're pretty much the same or close enough not to really matter all that much but you got two coils in there and these are running according to the Tesla at uh, two ohms actually it's running about according to my handy dandy ohm meter here uh, they're running at 2.4 which ain't bad you know these things aren't really made to be ultra accurate ohm meters you can use them but they always round a little bit and they're usually off by at least 0.4 to 0.6 and that's just how it is now you can lock the buttons on it I mean it's a nice little old mod I'm liking this really liking it but this goblin no cords, you got to build your own. Two millimeter, if you go three, it ain't going to fit. I'm sorry, I tried to shoehorn one in there, and that girl's just too tight. You screw that chimney down, that two millimeter, the, the three mil ain't going to fit. I went with two dual twos. Um, she's running 2.4 ohms. I didn't really mean to go that low. I really wanted to get up a point about five, but I mean, what the hell. With a regulated mod, you don't need to go into two ohms. That's the beauty of the regulator. You can go 0.5. Hell, you can go point one. You can go one ohm if you want. And it'll ramp up and ramp down just damn near as quick because you're doing it with power and voltage versus having to work the hell out of your batteries. That's why I don't really have much use for a damn unregulated mod. It's kind of like putting drum brakes on your car. It'll do it, but really? I'm going to hit this puppy. Now, we're running, let me see that, 40, she's running the 45 watts. Oh, yeah, 45. Good stuff.
Damn. Now, folks, that's creme brew. That's uh, Dr. Cremies. Do it yourself overdose, which is French vanilla custard, with Bavarian cheese, caramel and brown sugar, and sweet cream. Uh, born date was uh, two thirteen, so it ain't steeped yet. This is only ten days old, and man, this God, this stuff's good. Um, I'm a creamy fanatic, you know. Now, and as y'all know, you they own UPS, so if the United States Postal Service is screwing up your mail, it's all creamy's fault. The weather, they control that. They have they have taken over. They have taken over control of the weather control systems of the world, and they now control the weather, so it's their fault too. So if you're cold, it's raining, it's wet, you got stinky feet, it's all creamy's fault. They did it. It's all their damn fault. I, trust me, I'm on the Creamy page all day long. I'm an admin over there. I get to listen to this shit all day long. I'm sorry, but I've got a video posted over there that explains everything that's going on, yet people still come in there going, I don't understand. <sighs> people try to read for a second, just just for the hell, just the novelty of it. Just for, just, just do try, try something new. Now, we did that at 45 watts, and that was a full-on bad boy of a pull. I'm scared to do this with the Delta. I've never hit... I haven't had a regulated mod in a minute since my, K my uh, Camry 180 died because the 510 on it is a piece of crap. Yes, the Camry SMY 180s use die cast aluminum 510 connectors. When you screw stainless steel addies into that, you asking for trouble and it caught me and it bit me on the buttocks by screwing it up. So, here we go. Didn't change a thing. 45 watts on a Delta II with the RBA. And I got to tell you, I'm going to be straight up with you. If I had to pick which one of these I would buy, straight up, Delta II with the RBA deck, which is going to cost more because the RBA deck going to cost you 14 bucks, or the Goblin, I'd still go with this even if I had to pay the $14 extra to get the RBA deck because it's so much damned easier to build. The flavor is right up there beside the Goblin. The Goblin's a little bit more, you'll get more, a little bit more air, a little bit more flavor, but I'm going to tell you right now, folks, God almighty, damn, this thing's a pain in the ass to build on. Hell, I'm going seven and a half minutes, that's long enough, I'm out of here. I'm going to go vape and play some Black Ops 2 for a little while, because I just feel like blowing stuff up. Peas and cornbread. <laughs> 